important to relax. Okay. All right, so I just poured my hopefully final coat over this. I'm just doing the final thing, spreading it. So I have about three square feet, so it's four ounces per square foot. So I mix just a bit over 12 ounces, just to be sure. Now, everyone in the office is making fun of me and saying like, Dave, you ruined it, Dave. This looks like garbage, start over, blah, blah, blah. And I'm, and I'm like, no, this was a happy accident. It's gonna look fine, like just relax. So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna cut with a table saw. I'm gonna take, a, take the table saw and cut about one inch off of the whole thing just to get rid of this uh, bunch of the painting area and then the edges, it'll cut through the, through the epoxy, through the puzzle, through the wood and it'll be the perfectly clean edge. So I think that with this final perfect coat and the cuts, you're gonna see, it's gonna look great. It was discouraging, it was hard, it was disappointing, but you can figure it out and you're gonna say, you know what? Dave's pretty darn clever and he kept his cool. Oh no, I gotta torch it. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the final torching like we said then cover it, get out of here, we'll be, we'll be back. It should be perfect at this point. Um, then we'll just cut it, hang it, and admire it. And yeah, so hopefully you've learned like what to do, what not to do, how to fix your errors, how to go with the flow, how to take a mistake and turn it into an opportunity. There is no accident. Sure, I'm just gonna see if Rebecca's after me. Yeah, just with that gas flow. <laughs> oh, mother. Good. Okay, so I'm just, again, like I said, just cover it. Get out of here. And I think we should be done. Beauty. Okay, good. So that's the final coat, and I'm super happy with that last coat. It looks fantastic. It's hard to the touch. In three days is when it's going to be much harder, especially if in your, a warm room. It cures faster in a warm room. So now I'm just going to cut the edges and you're going to see it's just going to make a perfect edge. I'm going to leave it with unfinished wood instead of painting the sides and then just add the hanger on the back and we made it. Get noisy. Oh, I got to plug it in. Great. That looks awesome. Okay. So we'll just figure out a way to hang it and call it a day. So do you like this new tool, Patty? I need to see it in action first. Yeah, so what we're doing here is you know how when you would get a plaque when you were young of like uh, the Blue Jays when they won the World Series or it had one of a tiger running on a beach. So if you look on the back, there's two circles and then there's a thin line in between and you slide the screw in. That's what we're gonna try and do on the back here, right? We are going to attempt it and hope for the best. Yeah, I've never done this before, but I went to the store and I got this thing, it's called a keyhole bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill two holes and then in one of the holes, we're just gonna slide this along so it kind of cuts under the groove. Did so you set the depth? Well, that's what we're gonna do now. All right, I think okay. we're ready to do this. Who's excited? I am. Oh. <laughs> so that's about center and about like that. So I'm gonna do a circle there and a circle there and connect the lines. What do you think? Okay, here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. It's just purring like a kitten. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> All right. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Watch this, screw head in and slide over. Yeah. Do you understand that at home? You at home? So it makes a slot. It makes a slot oh, underneath the wood. I see. And there you have it, folks. Now all we have to do is hang it up and enjoy it. Yes. Right? Okay, so from doing this, it worked great, but next time I'll get a piece of wood and put it right on this plate and clamp it on there as a guide. So if I want a nice straight line with this keyhole bit, then I'll just slide along the guide. But that's how you learn, right? So stay fit and have fun. <laughs> <laughs>